Hello again. This is the watering man. Hang on just a minute. Let me write this down. Okay. Now this is part two to God is the greatest from the micros to the macros. Okay. Now, <clears throat> in this one, I want to show you, you know, like there's a dichotomy. The red way and the green way that we have to choose in this storm where God's dealing with this, bringing it back from darkness, increasing that little bitty seed of Christ. It's like a grain of sand in a ball that's the size of like the diameter is 4.25 light years from here, from the earth to Alpha Centauri. Okay, that's approximately and that's just the diameter, not the whole area. Huh? The whole area of it, there's a whole lot more grains of seed in there. I can do the mathematics stuff. Nah, we don't need it. Just so you get that picture of, oh my goodness, that's one thought process. Oh, in our universe or mine, that's a scale. I'm going to scale it up so we can kind of relate to it. Wow. That, that's that's like where God's going deep in your mind, not outer court and holy place, right? It's combined to one. It's going deep. It's in your mind, your universe of a mind. Then you zoom in down to one little thought process. And then zooming way down to that seed, to that uh, plant place size seed thought process. Huh? Like the little grain of sand in a in a ball that's the size of like here to Alpha Centauri. That would be similar to what a plant help to relate what a plankling size is. One seed one one seed or one grain of sand, one millimeter out of like about four four and a quarter light years. One light year is, uh, is like 6 or 6.2 trillion e to the 12. Move the decimal place 12 times to the right. Miles. And a mile is 5,280 5, uh, 5, feet. Okay, even one foot compared to one millimeter is pretty good difference, right? You'd have to convert it, but it's still... Huh? And you're talking... That's just astronomical, right? That's in one thought process. That's that's how detailed, huh? And God knows that seed, because that's part of Him. We put inside you in each thought process. I'm elliptically surrounded by all this darkness, this voidness, and cold. It's cold to God. God's way of thinking. It has no love at all in it. Not really. <clears throat> That's like how much love that carnal mind. You're actively hostile and opposed to God. It's opposed. Carnal mind is enmity against God. It's a carnal mind. Hmm? It's enmity. Huh? Actively hostile and opposed to you going ice. To God's way of thinking. That's two and then two, indicating your origin, your point reach, point come out, it, to going back to God, going back two and then two. It don't want you to come out of this red way at all. It wants you to bury yourself, hide out in your ship, just like Jonah was doing, hmm? out in that storm, remember, he's hiding out in that ship. Don't hide out in your ship, in your mind. Well, if I just be quiet about it, don't really make a big fuss about it. They won't say nothing. They won't know nothing. Hee hee hee. I just hide out and let this pass. God wants you to deal with it. That's what that storm's all about. Deal with it right now. Be reasonable and sit my way, my child. If you don't, you get brought up there. Then you're, you're, you gotta acknowledge. I'm the blame and tossed out into the, like the seas, hmm, to the ocean of your mind. <laughs> All kinds of storms and stuff going on there and a big fish, your beast nature. 
swallowing. Take you to the bottom of that sea. <laughs> three days, three nights, three ages. Hmm? Bring you into perfection. Choke you out the cares of the world, right? That reeds, like of your own reed sea, of your carnal of mind. <coughs> <coughs> The Reed Sea, the Red Sea. <sighs> Excuse me. Let me pull my nose real quick. Sorry, that stuff's still coming and getting on me. <laughs> but I just sp keep spitting it out like your carnal mind. Always bringing up those nasty thought processes. Huh? I keep spitting them out. <laughs> Spew you out with extreme disgust. Ooh, yuck, you stink. All right? Hang on. <laughs> Having all kinds of stuff fall out. Like you, if you feed to that carnal mind, your abdamic way of thinking, your old fleshly way of thinking, you'll do like what this one word here that I kind of made up. But it, but it's very descriptive if you follow me. It's red way. Pretzelate yourself. You'll get all entangled in the cares of your world. You'll be knocking off stuff. Hack, hack the, you better hack it up, cough it out. When God says, do you want me to chop this stuff out? Do you want me to skin this stuff out of your mind, out of your thinking? Well, this is just a natural thing. It's like a cold, it's just kind of hanging on. <clears throat> Still taking antibiotics and stuff. It's almost gone, but it just won't quite kind of leave me, you know. <coughs> <clears throat> it's all right. It's got to beat it. I ain't putting up with it. All right now, and like you knock off stuff off your table, you like kind of like your examination table. You know, knock it off. Keep going. Documento. Remember, not that you may prove it, but that you prove it. You dissect it. You do a little forensic science, huh? Investigation into it. If you're a good Berean, huh? I study the scriptures daily to see if what I'm saying is true for yourself. Not to go out there and condemn no one, huh? But uh, so that you can increase in God. Whenever he gives you the opportunity in these storms, say, yes, sir. I agree. Yes, sir. So be it. I'll sign on that contract, Father God. When you qualify with God, and you can't fool God, you can't pull his leg. can't get a quick one by God. Well, he don't know really what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, he does. Remember, he's going down from like to blow up that one thought process to, to a ball. The size of here to Alpha Centauri, 4.25 light years. And he's going all the way down to the seed. That grain of sand. And they said, now there's another grain of sand or a little cluster right here. Do you want me to work on this? We're trying to, I'm working on this. Do you agree with me? You want to chop it out, skim it out? You want to blow that stuff out of your, out of your, your mind? Clean yourself up a little bit? Huh? Yeah. Do you agree emphatically in hot pursuit? Or are you just going to puss around with it and let it whoop your ass? Because you're eating your own ass nature. Now, this, that's kind of like this pretzelate. Okay? <clears throat> Hang on. Got to do it again. Let me get off the screen. I'm sure you don't want to watch me blow my nose. <coughs> Oh.
Uh, uh, where there's a will, there's a way. We'll get her done. Don't give up on that stop. Right? Say, so, well, that's too hard for me. I just can't do it. You know, I'm kind of a baby. <laughs> huh? Or they might think something weird. Well, come on, man. Just be real. I told you. I'm just being plum blunt right up with you. I'm hiding it. Say, oh, no, I'll never get a cold. I never, I never had no problems at all. I'm not in no fire furnace at all. I never had nothing. Everything's easy peasy with me. Just come and believe the way I believe. And you go live up there in the moon and we'll breathe that nice atmosphere up there. I check karma and tell him that bunch of baloney. Uh, that's not the baptism of the Holy Spirit and in fire. Huh? Purification. Right? That poor PYR, right? The Holy Spirit, that's just the Spirit of, of God. Huh? You're green. So that, that little light is increasing for that grain of sand. It's on its way out to be that one thought process like a ball. A dense ball. A sphere. It's S P H E R E and it is pronounced sphere. Okay. All right. Now. <clears throat> now. And it's pretzelate. If you feed to the flesh, you'll reap corruption. Right? You feed to the spirit, you reap the life of the ages. Right? Now, feeding to the to the carnal mind and giving in to it. Oh, I can't blow my nose. Even if it is off the side of the thing, got a bucket over there with the bag in it. Huh? I won't be too too gross on you, but you know I gotta do what I gotta do. I'm I'm more interested in getting the truth out to you than to take it. Oh man, I'm big. But I can't do it today because, huh? Is that like in the storm of your life? Oh, I can't uh do it here in the eye of the storm. God, it's too rough. The storm's around here. Won't you wait, and I'll get back to you in my leisure. At my leisure time, I'll come and do it on my terms. I'll agree with you in my terms. Just right now, i got to deal with all this cares of the world. Of my world, I think. Too much stuff, too many pressures in my life going on. Let's get right down to it. That could be anything, a cold, huh? Being totally broke up and stuff. Having your jaws banded shut and your nose operated on at the same time. Hmm? Huh? Having rotator cuff surgery. Huh? Huh? Lung collapsed. All the broken every stuff. Huh? Huh? Lymphedema in your legs so bad you can't really walk. Huh? Talk to my wife about that. Parkinson's. You're freezing up, can't you? Huh? Huh? Financial cut? Yeah, ha hmm? Huh? There's lots and lots and lots. All these pressures. That's the time when you got to make the decision. Right now, in the eye of the storm, that's when you not go like, well, I'll bow the knee to you, Jehovah, Jehovah, leaving the vows in there, and I'll do it on my own leisure. Uh-uh. I'll elongate it, or I'll delay it, and I'll get back with you. If you don't have the, the audacity to do that to God, because that's what you're really doing. Or you're putting it off, I'll pray later, I'll go run out more. Really? No. 
If you're buying into that stuff in any way, shape, or form, anything returning and going full bore back to God the best you can. Huh? The best you can is to go to God because God's giving you opportunity. Anything that's a me, myself, and I, you're still going the other way. Still trying to ride the fence or something. Well, I'll come halfway. I'll give you most of it, but I won't surrender all of it. You know, I gotta keep my own pride. Yeah. Or I'm a dirty rotten sinner and I gotta pay for my. Huh? Mm -mm. Repent. That's meta. Meta. Noyo. I was letting us pronounce a little different, but that's uh, close enough. That's what I learned that I won't stick with that right now. Metanoia. Okay. Huh? Change the way you think. About face. Do a 180 degree about face and come back to God. All right? Walk, live, exist, exist, exist. Green light, green light, green light, green light. In the three days, three ages. Not three literal times or just three. And you're done. Uh huh? You think you're going to increase that little bitty grain of sand up to the size of a. From here to Alpha Centauri, 4.25 light years, and uh, by just doubling it three times, one, you're acknowledging God, you're germinating the seed, then two to four to eight. Two to the third power, like in a binary, huh? Huh? Two to the third power, two times two times two, huh? Mm, that's eight. Man, that's barely even starting. You're not going beyond those rudimentary or elementary principles now, are you? Huh? Oh, man, I can't go that way. It's too big, bad, and bully, too. He's bullying me. Didn't he say? In Deuteronomy 7, 1, to 7, 8, that, that seven imaginary things in your mind. Remember the Heotite, Heavite, Amorite, Perizzite. Jebusite, Gergesite, and there's one more. Just kind of, I get to look real easy. <coughs> I gave you spiritual toolboxes on them, a few of them. Okay, go back and look at them. Okay, we got to go on. But use every bit of this good news and this exposing to help you make the right decision. Right, and the main one, that Jebusite, that's that chief dog of them two. That's a leader kind of them. Religious, separatist, yuck. Huh, doo doo, don't know, trying to put that poo poo. Here, eat this chop dog. Put that poo poo in your system. Now, let's get to this so I don't run out of time on this. I thought it'd be kind of short, but I sort of figured, <laughs> maybe not. I get kind of a little bit runny at the mouth, but when the rhetoric of God starts flowing to me, it's okay. That's what I asked for. Father's will be done, not mine. I'm willing. Yes, sir, I sign on that contract. Amy and I agree. I agree. I sign on the contract. That's what I want. I want you. I want more of you, Father God. Not me. I must decrease. That ego must decrease and you must increase. That that seed... That little grain of sand grow up in each stop process. So my universal thinking comes back to that like singularity in the center of like the primordial atom. Hmm? Come back to unity in you. Or see not you know like a black hole, a singularity. You can't see. Hear, taste, touch, and smell with your natural shit's thinking, your ego, your log in your eye. Huh? Natural way of thinking. Sitting here, taste, touch, and smell. You can't see nothing just like in the natural. You can't see inside that black hole by looking through a telescope. Now, they got a little bitty. They see kind of like a image, but that's like from the outside stuff going in. Like, the, uh, what is that? Uh, oh, I forget. Uh, right there at the edge of it. But they can't. you can't see inside that thing. Light can't go out. So much gravity, so much God's love in there. And it's pulling in there and combining all those. It's like bringing it right back to the God's. If God said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men, all your humanity, anthropos, 
thinking back to me. You're going right back to like the beginning, like the beginning of this observable uh, universe. Like the ice tubing into indicating your origin. God. God's right mindedness. God is bringing you right back to that singularity, like that primordial atom where everything, the strong, weak nuclear forces, huh? Because it's like kind of getting fused all down. The electromagnetic force and the gravity. It's all like love. God is love. God is light. And that light is held in there. Only what God lets out. Huh? Wow. Now, let's get back. I started to do this several times, but we'll, we'll get it. <coughs> Shoot, excuse me. Ah, you know. Now, we're going to go on this pretzelate versus spaghettification. Okay? Now, let me define this words a little bit more. Pretzelate is your, it's like being entangling yourself in the cares of this fleshly, worldly, dark, ignorant of God's love thinking. Ooh, yuck. And not going off the, that grain of sand. But you're going, all oh, this blackness. Man, look at all this blackness. It's overwhelming by me. Oh, the world is going to hell in. You're buying right into this dark matter. Concealing stuff. To, you don't know what the hell is going on. Right? I'm using that fussy mind. It's thinking, bro, what the hell? Hmm? And this uh, dark energy pushing you. Galaxies away from galaxies and separating. And it clearly says, shall anything be able to separate you from the love of God? No, not if you're green writing God. Hang on, gotta get a bunch more. Now. <laughs> like, like spitting up that, spewing out that, that old uh, nasty stuff with an extreme disgust. That's pretty nasty. Ugh, get it out of you. That's <laughs> just a little physical thing telling you what you really do not hear. Yeah, it's chopping out, skimming out. Way up, God. I don't want none more of that. I want to stick my head down in that crap. Ew, I will be an ostrich. Worse than ostrich. I'll remain sick if I stick my head down in that crap. Ooh, that made me sick thinking about that. That's like pretzelate. Okay, now let's... A pretzel in the natural. Let me get one. Just a second. Well, I was going to get you a pretzel and show you, but I don't know where they're at. My wife put them somewhere, and I'm not good at finding stuff like that. Okay? But a pretzel, kind of shaped like this, and it should take one, one, take it down through the pretzel, and the other one up, take it down through the pretzel, kind of forms a pretzel shape. All right? Now, this pretzelate, it's kind of like whenever you stick, take your own foot, your lifestyle, your efforts up and stick it down through your mouth, like sticking your foot in your mouth and then poop it out your butt, huh? Goes through your system, you think about it, and you just feed, 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 and it keeps growing, 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 you're going down your own shitter. One to two to four to eight, pop to the other foot. You're good and you're bad. Good and you're bad. You pretzelate yourself. That's definitely directly opposed. Actively hostile to God. Ooh, 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 yuck. Better spit that out. Blow that stuff out of your nose. Clean your nose up. Wash your head and your face. Your hands too. Don't keep down in that crap. That old germy, 
nasty, vomity stuff. Ooh, you got to get rid of that stuff, right? To agree with God. Turn from that stuff. Quit being sick. Quit being dead. Quit being asleep. And you see the trespasses. Trespasses. You know all this Hamletian paroptima. Huh? All right, I don't need to go back over that. You guys don't know that. Should know that. But you don't go back and look at it. Listen to it, okay? Now, don't don't entangle yourself. Pretzelate yourself in the cares of the world, all right? And spaghettification in these storms of your life, God's offering an opportunity to come out of that stuff, to vomit, to spit that stuff up, to blow your nose, to clean yourself out, cough that crap out, spit it out, spew it out. Vomit it out with an extreme disgust. Get that stuff out of your system. And it's a little bit at a time. You don't just, when you're caught, when you're sick, just blow it one time and then, or spit, blow your nose once and be done, dude. I went through this, my fifth roll of toilet, toilet paper on this cold. It's lasted about two weeks. And I'm taking antibiotics and all that stuff. Mucinex and some other medicines. It's, uh, it's kind of like a Mucinex, I think. And the steroid packs. And, Crap, I want to get, let go. And then my wife's going on. She's going on a, another week in, in, with that. <coughs> I said it wasn't uh, COVID or nothing or the flu. It wasn't pneumonia. I don't know. It's some kind of crap, though. It's gotten better, but it's got to keep going. In your lifestyle, there's three days, three ages in your life. you got to get rid of this pretzelating stuff. Pretzelating nature. If you're only actively hostile and opposed to God till you go and do it towards and into that origin of God, like back to the primordial Adam, like a little Big Bang, huh? It's so compact, huh? Dense in God's character, nature, character, and authority. Nothing outside can even, can't touch this, can't see that or nothing. If it gets even relatively close, whew, Gonna get sucked in. If I be lifted up, I'll draw them into me. All right, let God do whatever He wants to do. Not you. Don't be out there poking, poking nobody in the eye, condemning them to whatever. That's pretzelating. Both legs down through your mouth, huh? Plum silly. But that's what you're doing. That's a good picture of of the yuck. And this spaghettification is bringing you back to this ball. Inside of other balls, many balls are compact in the plumb back to the primordial atom. One stringing it out, spaghettification, like going into a black hole and stringing it out, like one atom at a time. Hmm? Because your feet would be closer to the black hole than the other, and it'd just string you out. Hmm? Well, this is like that's natural physical thinking. Now, this is a, a spirit goddess, huh? Baptizing you in the Holy Spirit and in fire, huh? Purifying spirit, sanctifying you. Your thought process is in there in God's way. One thought process blown up to this big, huge ball here at Alpha Centauri, and then that little seed down in there, and it starts increasing that. That grand sand starts to increase at one to two to four to eight, huh? But you got to agree wholeheartedly and you got to qualify. You'll need that may with God, okay? Now, God is the greatest from the micros to the macros. Now, I realize I didn't get all that covered last time in Isaiah 55, but read and study verses 6 through 9. I'm not going to get it all now. Now, we're going to go to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3 through 5. I only got a few minutes here, so I'm just going to read it. Try not to count. Uh, go too much into it. Let's read it from the New King James. <coughs> Get out while I can to you. And then you're going to have to look some more yourself. Get it for yourself. And God will bring this stuff in your life. It's not to condemn you. It's to bring give you opportunity, right? Okay? It's like... So you silly rabbit, 
sits at sits thinking causes you to remain a sneaky snake. Psst. Not a damnic nature. That beast nature. Get rid of it. Hot. Get that out of your mind. Now, ooh, I'm probably not going to have time to get into these others, but you can also look in and entangle yourself in, in the Old Testament. There's a word that waiteth. Uh, but they that wait. Translated from 6960, Q-A-V-A. -A, it's a primary verb. And it means to bind together, to twist together. It's pretty close to what this um, entangles himself uh, means. It's N, E, N, and then Planko. Plucko. Okay? And that's E, N, resting, relying in God, and the Plucko. Okay? And that's, uh, uh, it's like the twist to braid. Braid those stronger, stronger ropes. That's what he's doing, bringing it up from that seed. That grain of sand, boom, boom, boom. Stronger, stronger, stronger. Now, you probably have to read this yourself. I don't want to run out of time. But in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 3 through 5, telling you about a good soldier, a soldier that worth. Hmm, there's a lot in there. Okay? Wow. Doesn't entangle himself in the cares of the world. All right. Um, there's more there. I, I was going to bring out for you, but I just ran out of time. Have a great day. Hit like and subscribe for me. Give you just a little bit of homework.